So bite inhibition training was in the manual that has been very, very important for a lot young puppy. And when I was researching on the internet, and internet, internet equals fact. Come on, Avery, get on camera. Two out of three dog trainers say the best method to treat bite inhibition is the ouch method. And really two out of three is about the best you're going to get with dog trainers because the best the best description I had of dog trainers you put three of them in a room, two of them will think the other one's an idiot and they won't agree on which one's the idiot. But anyway, the way that uh, the ouch method works is you basically let your puppy lick you, bite you. Come on, have a bite. She's not playing the game. And then, ow, 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 ow. See? They really don't want to hurt you, so they stop. You, got, you really got to take one for the team here. I'm using my good hand to basically let them have a, have a nibbly kibbly. And when they get a latch on, oh, this is before you go in the bite read direction. Come back over here. Look, do I have to get the translator out? You understand now? You're on camera. So this is bite redirection. Ooh, getting them to chew what you want them to chew. But before you go to redirection, you got to teach them bite inhibition. Ow, 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 ooh, ow, ow, ow. And see, they really don't want to hurt you once they realise they are. So that's the uh, the ouch method, recommended by two out of three dog trainers, with the other one being an idiot, of course. And it seems to work. But like I said, you got to take one for the team. Thank you, girl.